hey, it's Rue, and I am at, again, this swanky, swanky spot, but I think I found the most beautiful person in the room, and, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Dallas Dubois. I'm uh, the host, or one of the hosts for tonight, and I was also one of the guest stars on season two of The Curious Cope. Oh, what was the food that day? We were doing something for Halloween, so I had some delicious kettle corn, and my favorite was the trouble... Trouble sea salt popcorn. I, I ate a whole barrel worth. Really, you do that? So, do you? Do you, are you like vegan or veggie or? Actually, I am, but they, they didn't do that for me in particular. But I am. I am a vegetarian right now. Yeah, and I have been for seven years. Well, it's working. So, um, where'd you get your beautiful outfit? I made it. Me and the, the four Cambodian children I have in the basement of my apartment building. So. Four. I'm just getting forty. Forty! Wow! Is that like a sweatshop? <laughs> sort of. You get to do aerobics with them too? Oh no, 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 no physical activity. They do all the physical activity. Kathy Lee Gifford would be so jealous of me. Oh, she probably is so already. I'm sure. I'm sure she is. How are you doing? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Born and raised. That's good. Me too. I, I, I had that, that New York edge in me, so I can always beat up someone if someone tries to, you know. Get a little crazy or nasty, or I can always take the shirt off my back and help someone too. So we have, you know, the juxtaposition of a, being raised in New York is always um, an amazing double edged sword. Yeah, it, it, it's an amazing asset to have. I always have to agree with that. So on our show, we like to ask for a skeleton from your closet. Do you have any good skeleton? Ooh, um, you know, actually, I I really don't. I'm gonna try and dig deep. I, I've literally li- li- mentioned everything I have. Let's see. Um, skeleton in my closet, skeleton in my closet. Uh, ooh, oh, on, the top, on, the, on point, on, on... All right, let's talk about, like, in school. Did you ever, like, you know, did the dog eat your homework or something? Oh, please, the dog eat my homework every day. Yeah. Um, oh, I do, I do have one skeleton in my closet. Speaking of school, um, I did scare the crap out of my best friend on April Fool's Day, and I never, I never ever told her it was me, but... <laughs> But um, I, I, um, I, she was terrified of birds, and I bought a, par- a parakeet that was alive, and I put it in her locker. Um, and uh, <laughs> when she opened it up, it made eye contact with her, and she just froze, then screamed, then shut the door, and never returned back to her locker. And I never confessed to it that it was me. Wow, are you friends with her on Facebook? Not right now, no. <laughs> so um, are you, do you perform regularly, like... Um, I do actually. I performed for six and a half years uh, in, from New York and around New York, but um, I've actually had the, the amazing, amazing privilege to perform around uh, in London and Paris and uh, Barcelona and Fire Island, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, um, and I am retiring in two weeks. Is that right. Yeah, I'm done. What are you doing between now and then? I am getting booked and, and working every day I possibly can to save up for a little bit of extra money, and then I'm hightailing it to Los Angeles on March 1st. To live. Yeah, I accepted a job um, um, running a theater out there. Good for you. So when you perform, what do you do? I usually do a lot of kind of obscure, but I would, I would call them classics. Maybe it's not the, you know, the modern day gay, if you will, or the modern day viewer, but um, I love old, bit, old school Bette Midler. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. What do you do, friends? Uh, I do uh, like Pretty Legs, oh. you know, yeah, and uh, you know, stuff like that there from, for the boys. Um, I, I love anything Broadway. I love anything. Me too, you know, me too. I, I, I'm tired of people doing the nine, like the, the not the nineties, but the, the pop, like nowadays. If you want to see Beyonce, go buy a, a, a ticket to her concert. Yeah. Because you're not going to be her. No one can be her. You, know, you got to embody that personification of a performer and embody. Not you can't embody Beyonce. So okay. Dubois, do you yeah. parlez vous français? Uh no 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 tu parles français uh no is it that was good that was good you, that was French you did so speak French I studied it in high school but I, only for like two years and then I stopped well um, très bien so what's your website where can people find you be your fan even if you are retiring well I, in two weeks I will be deleting her completely but I'm on Facebook Dallas Dubois until March first really so you're done I am done so do you have another name coming nope no drag done with drag retired. Good for you. Good for you. Time to move on. You need know, a new chapter in your life. So. Oh, I, I am inspired by you 100%. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Any last shout-outs for Dallas? To whoever is watching, drag or not, um, always be true to who, you're, who you are and to yourself and always um, bask in the glory of the present and never the past and never expect what's going on in the future. Live in the present. Live in the moment. Wow, put well, put well, lovely person. Thank you for having so me. So I'm, I'm so happy that I got to meet you in the last two weeks, and I 
Hope I cross paths with you again when you're who you are. Not like this, but you probably will. <laughs> Good. Good. And there it is. Lucky me.